here in Westchester, Pennsylvania to coach and train our latest scholarship winners, Lab Graphics. We've been in business for 21 years. I started as a vehicle graphics company. The business is well established. They're great at what they do as far as their wide format graphics. Just very inexperienced into this heat printing thing. And that's why we're here. We started looking at other services and apparel and goods seem like a natural fit. When it comes to heat printing, time, temperature, and pressure. Those are the three important essential elements of, of heat printing is time, temperature, and pressure. And good news is if you've got quality equipment that measures all of those accurately. I want to make sure that you're not known just as a t-shirt shop. You want to be a, a branded apparel decorator so that you can get their message onto just about anything and take it beyond. Honestly, I think I found out about stalls on Instagram. I started following because I just really enjoyed the videos and watching the process. And then I got a couple of customers who said, hey, do you guys do apparel? And so I started looking at the website and realizing that we could use products so that we don't have to keep sending out to a local screen printer, which seemed really unreliable to us. I think I just made an account, bought a heat press, and started and ordering. fulfilled our first order. We're all in. We're all sold. Yeah. So we want and to continue to push that. And then I found out that. about the, the scholarship program, and on a whim, I'm not sure I even mentioned it to him. I just thought this could be really great. I'm just going to try. I don't know what kind of companies you're looking for, or individuals you're looking for that would be a good fit, but I just thought I'm going to give it a go. So I did, and then shocked. You can also celebrate the fact that you actually are our third quarter winner. Wow! <laughs> are you serious? I'm serious. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> what? <laughs> To like get the call even later. that we were <laughs> finalists, that was when she broke the news to me and I said, this is unbelievable. You're, this is so cool. And we've just been so excited and, and blown away by the support that Stalls has given us right. and um, just helping us really launch this, uh, this next new venture of, as part of Lab Graphics. Yeah, so. It's a huge opportunity. And we're so excited and I love the energy that Bob's bringing. We sent you earlier the what to use when, and this is the one that is very, uh, I think is going to be- This is our favorite cheat It's going to be a bonus for you for sure. Um, and as you can see, the way it's structured, you've got your, you know, the number of colors and then how many pieces down both sides, just like a grid on a map. Now what fills in the bulk, now if I've got one to two colors, maybe up to three colors, and a bunch of them to do 24 to 72 and beyond that's where our screen printed transfers our plastic salt ink transfers and it is screen printing it is plastic salt ink it's just not you know, you, you know the process it's not direct to fabric on that in those cases now we're they're screen printing that same plastic salt ink onto a uh, onto a carrier sheet with a basic adhesive on the on the back side and here you're in control you're not counting on another screen printer to make sure that he didn't do you know six out of the 12 a little bit crooked you're controlling that i'm not committing uh, a design to the fabric till the point of sale so or if there's i need two more and i've got a couple extra transfers i can go back and do this mm -hmm. goof proof is probably the the best seller when it comes to you know, a standard uh, cotton shirt four seconds yeah. and and you're done well i also love how you have the the size, you know, your 11 by 17 sheets or whatever. Yeah. So I can go in there and like, cause that's what we do here. We yeah, nest right. to maximize materials so I can go in and I can, I have, I feel like I have control of production in a way that normally you would, I mean, I would think most companies, they're like, just send the logo and we'll figure it out for you. Right. And I'm like, no, no, I want to be able to look at it and say I can fit three this way and seven small ones this way. That's and I love cheating. that. 100% cotton, 50-50, kills it all day. 
Yeah. Uh, but if I would get into some of these more heat sensitive fabrics, like I mentioned tri-blends, which has cotton, polyester, and rayon. Mm -hmm. Rayon is, is like nightmarish, but it's, it's what everybody loves right now, the best t-shirts, you know, the heavy duty uh, work t-shirts are, are mm -hmm. a thing of the past to, to a degree. Um, but having that real soft hand and to get those, those type of fabrics in there, that may not be the, the best option. Mm -hmm. What I would encourage all the time is to test your fabric and make sure that it's, you're gonna be able to apply these temperatures. Yeah, so there are some there are some uh, limitations to each one, like which one makes the most sense, not just by color and quantity, right. but now it's what fabric am I using? So you're saying that I push the envelope by putting them on safety vests? <laughs> not necessarily. No, no not they necessarily. They weren't. At all. I mean, they weren't cotton. They weren't. Well, no, no, it's yeah. okay. There's some sturdy fabrics. So again, you would have known if it was a problem. Right. Because what, we, what we're trying to avoid is the uh, box, the heat printing box around the outside where you see the, the imprint of the platen. What it has, it's actually scorched that fabric. And more times than not, it's not going to go away. So you will see, if you see a big square around your design, you'd be like, okay, that's probably not the best way to go. Well, from safety vests to t-shirts to long sleeves to even nice winter hoodies, um, it really worked out beautifully for us and Perfect. worked out awesome for our customer. Yeah, and that's the go it is. It really is the go-to for, for high volume and, and lesser number of colors. And now, and, and another thing that I would um, you know, consider is as you're, as you're kind of building your, your offerings to these folks, you can help guide them. If they say they just want a t-shirt, it's rare that they'll specify. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll say they've got a particular next level type of you know, brand or whatever they're looking for. But I would... Uh, kind of lock myself into a couple brands and types of shirts that you know work well for each process so you don't have to think about it again. Right. Yeah, so you're not retesting every time. Now, always somebody will come in and say, you know, I need this very specific mm -hmm. line item, but if they're just saying, can you give me a nice t-shirt or a nice hoodie, or whatever the case is, you've already got history now knowing that these are the ones that have worked well for me. I don't worry about it. I know it's going to work with all these processes, or I know that this is the only process I can use on it, whatever the case is. Yeah, so that'll be some, some, those are the things that you will kind of pick up as you're building your business and taking it to the next level when you're starting to offer more and more of, of uh, apparel decoration. Yeah, so finding, a, finding a, your go-to items, your SKUs makes sense. But you mentioned that you know, these folks were looking for screen print and you kind of feel at times feeling like that you know, maybe I'm, I'm you know, misleading them, but in reality, it is screen print. It is plastisol ink you know, printed onto, onto a sheet. So if they say, I want this screen print, you say, I got it. No more, you don't have to talk about it anymore. They don't have to know that you didn't put it on a you know, six station automatic and, and go direct to fabric. You were giving them screen print quality onto fabric. Never apologize for this not being screen print because it really is. Mm -hmm. It really is screen print. In my mind, a little better because like I said, you're, you're controlling it. You're making it because face it, not all screen printers care <laughs> like you do. You know, there's your subcontract and they're just trying to get those 144 out and and they've got a tolerance of crooked or straight that is not doesn't meet everybody's standards. That's why I said you guys are probably, you know, particular and a bit of a control freak. I've watched you adjust three yeah. pictures since I've been here, so I, I get it. It's a problem. <laughs> Could be a problem. <laughs> so excited to get back and get into the actual equipment and processes. I know they're going to do well because they have a real desire to be successful in this. The biggest challenge for me is going to be just understanding process and making sure that as we scale this, that we're scaling it correctly. I want to make sure that because I'm brand new to this, that I'm doing everything the way it should be done in order to really make it grow and succeed. We've also provided some actual transfers. Oh. So we've done your logo in both black and white, and these are all goof proof. It sounds uh, like it was designed for me. It is. <laughs> Goof proof. Yes, yeah, I got it. No, it's perfect. And that's, that's the reason. This needs to be as simple as possible. Sure. Yeah, so you know, the instructions always come with the sheet. Our own labels. And that's nice. what we're going to show off here because that's you've nice. got that tag along platen, which we're going to put yeah. on here in a little bit and actually use and it. And that's really nice because that's small. Right. That's tiny. It's right. good and So clarity. we'll be able to put on your, yeah. in one hit, we'll be able to apply your logo as well as the tag in the back. Off to the side, on this side, there's a lever here. I pull it towards me. Mm -hmm. Now, believe it or not, there's a trick to getting this off. You would think just grab it and pull it up. It's easiest when you do opposite corners okay. and just lift straight up. Okay. Otherwise, it gets a bit on a bind and this gives you just bounces out for you. Okay. So this will just kind of sit right here for now. So yeah, it, it goes, goes this way. Yep. Out. Okay. Faces out. All of the platens have the exact same spindle option. 
So when we switch to that right, little six easy, by 10 over there, it's exactly change. the same okay. deal. So now we lock this down. You want me to put this on a different circuit? Yes, because yep. these both pull a max, a minimum of 15 amps each. That's why okay. we recommend a double, a 20, 20 amp for each one. Why did we swap this one from to because this one? Because we she want wants this. to do the, we want to do the um, We want to put label. labels yeah. in our Plus, t-shirts. Plus, this is a, this is a real bonus because it actually Already helps you, shirt. it helps you center it. Yeah. It takes away a lot of that anxiety. Is this shirt okay. straight? If I know the shirt is straight, now I can start using edges of the platen to yes. measure off of to make sure. Yes. Or in my case, yeah. two fingers on this side, yeah. or a finger down, or two fingers of hand down from the top, whatever you, whatever you recommend. Center button is your mode, that gets you started. If you notice that the temperature light is set up, so it's mm -hmm. in set mode, and, the, and it's, we're working with temperature. It's a simple plus and minus mm -hmm. left side. So I'm targeting 365. This is such a short, I'll just punch it individually. If you hold it, it'll go faster, like yeah. you can imagine. Okay. And then I hit mode again. That takes me into my first time setting. There's dual times on this. Once for a preheat, once for not, we're talking about five or six seconds for this goof proof. So I will just set the first one, we'll call it five seconds. All we're doing is trying to get rid of the moisture and wrinkles out of the shirt, especially with natural fibers, cotton, or, or something with cotton in it, that has a better chance to trap moisture. If this thing lifts up and you see a puff of steam, I would kiss it again. Make sure that, because that's the biggest deterrent that you'll have is uh, moisture in there. They'll keep the, adhe the adhesive from, from bonding to the shirt. And there's the press, both at five. Okay, great. So now we're talking pressure. Um, right now that's nothing. So to adjust it, now you'll do it with the shirt in there too, but it's not gonna change much on a thin shirt. So we're turning down. So all we're doing is dropping this closer to get more pressure. This is your live pressure readout. So it okay. goes from one through nine. So okay. one, two, three being light, mm -hmm. four, five, six being medium, seven, eight, nine being firm. So if your application requires a medium pressure, someplace four to six. Yep, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably target five. But let's practice the load and you'll see why this is a, a, a good thing. So, there you go. So what I like to do is get this seated all the way down, you know, get it naturally falling on there and do this. Now, you know about a printer's fold, sometimes there's a line down the middle, which you can usually trust pretty well, but having the same amount on from underarm to underarm here mm -hmm. kind of makes me, so I know I'm centered up on here, but this part, where is it? Right. So keeping this, this is my next point of reference and making sure that that is pretty close to being the same distance apart from each side. So I would probably do that and make sure this is nice and snug. Now, if we're just doing the front, and we're not worried about neck labels. See this, we need to get this off of there. So we pull it back just a little bit. Okay. So this is any, any extra seam or collar is gonna be a deterrent to good even pressure. It's like we talked about upstairs. That's why we have specialty platens. Gotcha, so right. Now, yeah, so you just got off. That's the last thing you'll check. Now, if you're gonna do the whole, you just slide this up over and then that goes away. Thank God, these, you used to have to cut these out. Now they've learned. <laughs> yeah, so now you're actually really ready to press. But we're not, again, we're not to temperature yet. We're still, we got a ways to go with that one. Now this being a, this is what I call typical full front, just about an eight by 12 type six to 11, something like that type design. Uh -huh. Yeah, higher is better than lower. Uh, most people tend to get this down a little too low. You don't wanna, you don't wanna encroach on that collar, but a couple inches down, and there's a lot of preference for that. Now you also want to look and see where the design is. Okay, so you've got a quarter inch of flex. Now left to right, mm -hmm. I would use the fingers. So do you have equal because it's spaced equally on that? Not really. Not really? A little okay. bit, actually. Are you sure? I want. So when I cut it, I didn't give you the perfect cut. Well, that's okay. Well, no, that's okay. He's got to find his true center yeah. now. Yeah, I think it looks good. Right there? Yep. Hold on. We have a, a tag with oh, it. We yeah, want to do this in one press. Yes. And after five of these, you will have had five done already because you won't be as, <laughs> as anxious about right. it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Lock, lock it down. All the way until it clicks. There we go. These are both hot peels, so you just grab the corner and take it diagonally. Wow. Nice.
That's oh, true. that's the best. I that love is that. That's the best. All right, release the neck first there. Otherwise, you'll be. Now you get to show off your, your wares. Nice. That is absolutely that is great. stunning. That's well, well done. That's perfect. <laughs> no, it was. It's, it's, it's just right on. I love this. And like I said, after about five it. of those, you'll be sliding that on and go about this much. That's good. That's yeah. good. And you're good. Yeah, because wow. once you get it, you get into a group. That's great. And that's why I want to get you guys comfortable with this and not just occasional here and there so that you're ready to hit the ground mm -hmm. running for a big jump. What size do you have there? I have a small. Okay. This one's mine. So yeah. You've got a small there. That may yeah, have been one that we would have gone bit. with a, a different platen, but oh, you're good, okay. though. 11 by 15 works for, like, uh, youth and ladies. Once you get it where you th think it's pretty... Uh, Pretty straight. Is that? It's kind of looking funky. What's looking funky? I don't know. Is this okay yep. here? Yeah, okay. it's not a problem. So I would kiss it down just to give it a quick preheat. Don't even have to lock it. Just engage it against there. It just keeps getting the moisture out of that shirt. It's good. That's uh, a good habit to get into is when you start your day is to preheat that platen for a minute oh, or okay. two. Because that helps draw the adhesive into the fabric. I've had, I've had people you know, say it was... The job was good, except the first two or three we did didn't seem to want to stick because they, and it, that's the difference. They, their bottom platen hadn't heated up yet. It's not in every case, but if there's going to be failure, that's, that would be part of it. Right. I think you want to come up a little bit higher for ladies because they usually ride a little higher than men's. Mm -hmm. uh, like maybe that. a little bit more. There you go. So I centered it. That's the center of the actual decal. Okay. That right there. So pretty centered, you yeah. know. Let's see. Here, here, okay. okay. We'll see when you press it. <laughs> like, we're gonna find out. Oh, yep. we're gonna find out. <laughs> okay. You're good. You have to give this a little bit of something. There you go. Nice. Wham, bam. Yeah, so good. Just that easy. Just that easy. Did I get that right? Might be a little off center. It's perfect. And nice thing with that logo, it's hard to find true center because you're your weight heavy on the left, but even though the overall design there, so you probably would naturally cheat over to your left a little bit yeah. just because it looks weighted that way. Right. And the, the graphics so is nice. like a subsidiary of it. <laughs> So Very that's good, nice. that's good. One of the things that you were interested in were those, those higher end jackets. Well, when you put this on, this is actually, over, this is actually over here. Yeah. Now, just with that simple little cutter that you have now, it's a great way to do personalization on anything. So we did some full size designs for your t-shirts as well. Should I measure? I think you should press it. You think I should just shut up and push it? I think that. <laughs>